Well, my boyfriend and me, we moved to this town. After six years of dating, we thought we'd settle down. The school system was thriving. What a great place to raise a kid. And then something happened. I met a man named Sid. <laughs> now I've never been a looker. I've never turned a head. But one thing was for certain, Sid wanted me in bed. But as I stopped to look around, much to my surprise, there were at least ten other men leering at my thighs. But when I, I took one glance at my boyfriend and one look to that crowd, it didn't take me long. The voice was true and loud. I threw my boyfriend to the curb, and up and down I swore. I had him with monogamy, I'll become a steamboat whore. <laughs> now a steamboat whore was the life I give hummers every night. One to six men in a week, it would make us feel all right. I'd never have to buy a drink, I'd never sleep alone. Because every dog I met knew where to hide his bone. But now the years have come and gone, I have lines across my face. My clock is tick-tocking, I fear I have lost the race. My ex-boyfriend is married, he's a real estate broker. And when I try to get him back, he gets a restraining order. Now the moral of my story, of which to you I'll pass. No matter what men say to you, like... Resist the urge to leave your loved one crying at the door. No matter how great it seems, don't become a steamboat whore. <laughs> <laughs>